Welcome back, friends, with more of the Big Bang Theory. This is Season 5, Episode 20. Last time, we had the guys play the online Star Wars game. Bernadette even joined in for a bit. It was very cute. Sheldon, though, stood up Amy and his plans with her to play with his friends, which wasn't the best, but Raj made a scene and everyone realized how much it meant to him that the guys just hang out alone like the old times and decided, hey, like, let's let the guys have their fun. Uh, we had a whip sound coming from the phone app that was very, very funny, made to make fun of Sheldon and then make fun of Howard. But yeah, let's see what our characters get up to this time. We're coming up on the end of season five already. Curious to see what kind of cliffhangers they could leave us with. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like, really helps with the channel. And let's get started. Oh my god, I love this chicken. Oh, you know what they say, best things in life are free. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah, you're right, I eat your food. I wish the bride and groom would take a cue from Bilbo Baggins. You slip on the ring, disappear, and everyone goes home. <laughs> nice. You like Professor Geiser's wedding? They had a make your own Sunday bar. Oh, Ooh. that was a night to remember. Do you know, on one trip, I just had a bowl of nuts. <laughs> I'm coming and I'm bringing somebody. Uh, Kutrupali plus one. Who are you bringing? Who are you bringing? Oh, Penny. Who are you bringing? Who are you bringing? Wow, what a bunch of nosy O'Donnells. Nosy O'Donnells? Come on, who is it? No one yet. I'm not telling. Hello, Mommy, Daddy. How are you? Pretty good. Can't complain. Oh, I'm sure you can. Just give it a minute. <laughs> You're coming out of the closet, aren't you? We love you and we accept your alternate lifestyle. Okay. Just keep it to yourself. If anything, I'm metrosexual. It means I like women as well as their skincare products. <laughs> Well, if you're not coming out, why did you call us during the cricket semifinals? Arranged marriage. I'm tired. I think I'd like you to help me find a, a wife. A female wife. Yes, yes. Yes! Very smart move, son. Much <laughs> better than marrying for love. Ooh. <laughs> we married for love. Sure. And it's been wonderful. <laughs> Quantum physics makes me so happy. All right. Yeah, I'm glad. It's like looking at the universe naked. <sighs> whoa, 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 whoa! You want us? You want me to leave you alone? Jeez. I was thinking about Sheldon's little joke the other night about me eating all your food. No, oh, that was no joke. I understand your confusion, as I am our group's resident cut up. I'm sorry. You are our resident cut up. <laughs> knock, knock. Who is there? Interrupting physicist. Interrupting physicist. Me on. <laughs> Okay. Okay, man. Ta-da! <gasps> Whoa! A vintage mint in box 1975 Mego Star Trek transporter with real transporter action. Hot darn! Hot darn! She gives what really good get? gifts. Yeah, that's from Stewart. You went to the comic book store by yourself? Yeah. <laughs> it was fun. I Lots of stairs. Two different guys got asthma attacks. Felt pretty good. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, Penny. <laughs> I didn't forget about you. Aww. Leonard, I got you. a label maker. She's kidding, right? Is she not kidding? Also, a mint in box. Mm. And I got you a transporter chain. Yeah, he just threw it away. <laughs> Aww. Let's open it up and put him in there. Oh, no, good lord, no. Why are there just toys? They're, They're mint in box. <laughs> Collectibles. Open one up Once you open the box, it loses its value. Yeah, if yeah. You don't... My mom gave me the same lecture about my virginity. Oh boy. <laughs> I gotta tell you, it was a lot more fun taking it out and playing with it. Amen to that, sister. The nuns always chaperone the dances at my high school. They used to make us leave room between us for the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Heard that before. The Hindus do the same thing, except they leave room for a cow. <laughs> So, you're a charming racist humor, but <laughs> these are my my friends. Uh, this is Bernadette. Hello. Uh, and this is Howard. Nice to meet you. You too. Please have a seat. I'm thinking double wedding. Based on what? Just her looks? Come on, man. Dr. Cooper. What? Is this Dr. a forest Cooper. ghost? Down here on your desk. Oh. Is that Leonard Nimoy's voice? I need to oh my god. You. Open the, the transporter. Explanation is that this is a dream. It is not the only logical explanation. You could be hallucinating after being hit on the head by, say, a coconut. <laughs> coconut? 
To the matter at hand, you need to play with the transporter toy. But it's meant oh, to no. box, and to open it would destroy its value. But remember, like me, this poses. You also have a human half. Consider this. What if he opens his and then switches it with Leonard's? To be played with. To not play with it would be illogical. Ooh. Oh, damn it, Spock, you're right. Sheldon, wait. You're still dreaming. You have to wake up first. Oh, of course. Set phasers to dumb, right? <laughs> goody, goody, goody. Goody, goody, goody. I'm gonna do oh, it. Oh, man. I'm doing it. I did it. He gets to play with it. Energize. <laughs> Aw, he's enjoying it so much. Energize. Did it break? Please don't be broken. Oh, it's broken. What did you make me do? Spock! Okay. Evil. You've become evil! Don't do it. It's only logical. Leonard's never gonna open it, I guess. Oh my god. What goes into making something like that? Well, you start out by trying to make chocolate souffle, and when it falls, you panic, quickly change the name, and voila, lava cake. <laughs> He's got a sense of humor sometimes. Parents, uh, we should probably make sure we're on the same page. Okay. Okay. I'm under a lot of pressure from my parents to get married and settle down and have a family, and I'm going to do it so they don't find out I'm gay. <gasps> oh. Dude on dude, but with women? <laughs> oh my god. There's a rumor back in New Delhi that you're, how shall we really? say, comfortable in a sari? <laughs> I'm not gay. Really? Really? The chocolate lava cake, you're wearing more perfume than I am. He's just That's a metrosexual. Like Chloe and Lamar. I love the nightlife. I like to boogie. Got you. <laughs> with women. I like to boogie with women. <laughs> That's disappointing. You were exactly the kind of phony baloney husband I was looking uh, for. You don't want to put a bite of that in your mouth without trying my homemade Chantilly cream. Yeah, okay, that time I heard it. <laughs> That's not the reason you're not getting girls, though. Oh. Did he switch them already and now... Oh, dear. He's here for a reckoning. Two suns and no sunscreen. Always wear a sunscreen, folks. Tanning is just again, sun damage. Sheldon. I am very disappointed in you. You broke your toy and switched it with Leonard's. You should be ashamed of yourself. I got away with it. Leonard That's has not his what toy. It's about. He's never going to open it. Everybody's happy. Well, I am unhappy. I thought where you come from, they don't have emotions. <laughs> He's half human. I come from a factory in Taiwan. You know what you are? Well, you're a green-blooded buzzkill. <laughs> Perhaps it's time you beam on out of here. Fine. I will just use the transporter. Oh, right. You broke it. <laughs> accusingly. Very Pointing good. accusingly. Energize. How could you do Spock like that, man? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Can I run something by you? It's about Lakshmi. Yeah, sure. How are things going? Are you considering it? We hit a couple of bumps. What do you mean she's a lesbian? You know, whenever you and I would try to hit on women in bars and they'd blow us off and then we'd tell each other they were probably gay. Except this time it's true. <laughs> You're in a relationship. You know you have to make compromises. Well, yes, but my compromises are about which uh. bedspread to buy or whose turn it is to do the laundry. Bernadette's or my mom's. Wow, Howard. So you're seriously thinking about marrying someone you're never going to have sex with? I can't believe your attitude. I thought you were in favor of gay people getting married. Not to, oh my god. Yes, to other gay people. Oh my god. Do you hear how homophobic you sound? No. Raj! <laughs> That's hilarious. Did you switch it back yet or not? Come on, Shelly. Nothing. Nothing. I not believe you guys aren't gonna play with these. I told you, you don't. It's mint in box. I don't know. I just think it's a waste. <laughs> oh, Sheldon. Perhaps you should look with your eyes and, and not your muscular Nebraska man hands. This is how you thank what her for getting problem? the My gift for you? Is it... I bought you this because I wanted you to have fun with it. You know, Aw. You're right. I mean, it's from Sheldon. You. I'm never gonna sell it. 
I'm opening it. Yes. <laughs> Sheldon, come clean right now. Come clean right now. Broken. What? Oh, nice job, man hands. You're still trying to pin this on her? I didn't break it. I, I guess Stuart sold it to me like this. Yes. Yes. Sheldon! I opened your toy, discovered it was broken, and didn't tell you. No. Why would you open mine? I didn't. That was a lie. I opened my own toy, and it was already broken, so I switched them. You should talk to Stuart. I can't, because that was a lie. <laughs> he just keeps lying. Broken in an earthquake, and that's a lie. Stop it! He's, he's trying. He's trying. My Mr. Spock doll came to me in a dream and forced me to open it. And when the toy broke, I switched it for yours. And then I was attacked by a Gorn. Okay, that I believe. Mm. Uh -huh. That's weird enough. Penny, I just, I want you both to know that I regret my actions towards the two of you. That's a lie. So are you going to trade or not? I hope you have fun playing with it. And that's a lie, it's right? A big fat whopper. Okay. I hope it breaks. Sheldon, you're the worst. <laughs> At least he owned up to it, though. Eventually. You told her? I told everybody. <laughs> everybody? What if she's still- she's in the closet! What if- oh my god. Oh my goodness! Aren't you the oh. cutest little Yorkie ever? Oh. Let's go see if you fit in my man purse. <laughs> oh boy. Let your sexual my ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh. And now I'm here feeling jealous of Raj. He gets to play with a dog. Oh, I want a dog. This was a very entertaining episode. Leonard Nimoy's voice spoke to Sheldon. Nice little cameo there as Toy Spock. Very sweet of Penny to get Sheldon and Leonard those toys from the comic book store as a little thank you for letting her mooch food off of them for all this time. Mint in box transport thingies from Star Trek. Penny gives really, really good gifts. Oh, but the way she messed with Leonard, I got you a label maker, also minted box. He just threw it away though once she revealed that she also got him a transport thingy as well. Of course, they're collectible, so it made sense to not play with them until Dream Spock convinced Sheldon to do it. Broke almost immediately. That is some really shoddy craftsmanship. Uh, Spock said he was made in Taiwan. I suppose that is made in Taiwan as well. Uh, I assume they got knockoffs to destroy for the filming of this show though. For a little while, we got to see how excited Sheldon was playing with the toy, though. He enjoyed it so much for just a little tiny bit. I had the feeling he was going to switch his toy with Leonard's, even before he broke it, though. I thought it would just be like, I played with the toy, but I still want a mid condition one. I didn't think it would wind up with him breaking his and switching it with Leonard, because Leonard would never find out. And so he makes that switch, and he has another dream with Spock telling him to do the right thing. Turns out, Sheldon does have a conscience, apparently just doesn't listen to it all the time when it shows up. Uh, he actually switched the toys, but then switched it back only for Penny to convince Leonard to play with his. At least Sheldon came clean about it instead of having it all blamed on Stuart and losing him even more money. Uh, took a couple of tries to get there though, he kept lying and lying and lying. Uh, still hopes that Leonard breaks his toy, which, uh, he, he's making baby steps I guess to being more sympathetic with other people. <laughs> And then the other part of this episode with Raj and his attempt to uh, have an arranged marriage via his parents. Lakshmi was very charming and Raj wants to marry her immediately. Like five seconds after he meets her, doesn't even know what she's about yet, just knows that she's gorgeous. Uh, but it turns out that she's a lesbian and wanted to marry Raj anyway to keep up appearances. That is really rough. Uh, she felt like it'd be a fine trade-off because it would get the parents off her back while still letting her keep her orientation a secret. It's, it's depressing. Uh, Raj's reaction was like, dude on dude, but with women? What a great freaking line. Just, <laughs> have you never heard of a lesbian before, Raj? But yeah, Lakshmi thought that Raj was gay as well. And as they say about Chandler, he definitely has a quality. But even though Raj insists that he's straight, he was considering the marriage for companionship's sake. I mean, I don't really see the point of that. Like, what would be the difference between that and just his relationship with his guy friends? Someone to come home to? Just move in with Howard and Bernadette. It sounds very much like they're going to be living with Howard's mother anyway. Uh, can you imagine, though, if Raj decides to date Mrs. Wallowitz? That would, oh no, oh no. Maybe we'd finally get to see her face once, though. But yeah, Raj was also drinking this entire episode so he could talk to uh, Lakshmi, but can he talk to lesbians without alcohol now since he has no chance with them? I feel like that would take away from the anxiety a little bit, right? Who knows with 
him and how his brain works, though. But it was hilarious seeing Raj talk to Howard about the arranged marriage, saying that he's homophobic for being against gay marriage. Well, yeah, if you're going to marry someone straight, jeez. And Raj should have told Howard to keep it to himself, though, and Howard just told everybody, she's in the closet, dude. Okay, maybe he left out her name. Still a tiny chance it makes it to Lakshmi or Raj's parents. That would be really, really bad. Hope that doesn't happen. But now that I think about it, I've never even heard of same-sex arranged marriages. How much overlap is there between people who do arranged marriages and people that are homophobic? I'm not entirely sure about that. I'm not opposed to the idea of people's parents setting them up with someone. People go on blind dates all the time. But when it comes to arranged marriages, it feels a little different. Like, I assume you'll be able to say no if you're not feeling it, but... Personally, I don't feel much anxiety when it comes to normal dating, but if it was like, find out everything about this person as quickly as you can so you can marry them, that feels like a very anxiety-provoking situation. Like, this is someone you have to spend the rest of your life with, and you have to, like, speed and rush towards getting married with them. It's a little... that's anxiety-inducing. And what about the people arranging the marriage? How much guilt do they feel if they wind up choosing someone completely incompatible? There's probably only one person I would trust to set me up with someone for the rest of my life. And even then, I'd definitely have to have a conversation with them about it beforehand. Uh, I definitely wouldn't want my parents to set me up, though. Unless they luck into someone who's perfect for me. And their values are just way too different from mine. And they don't really know what's important to me. So I wouldn't trust my parents the same way Raj trusts his. Though they did wind up giving him a bad match. Bernie and Howard got Raj a dog, though. A little Yorkie. Oh, my heart. I've gotten to a point in my life where I'm actively sad that I don't have a pet, so I got to live vicariously through Raj for a little bit. I was even a little jealous. Chase did send me this, though. Haven't named him yet. It's a little corgi, but the dog made Raj so, so happy. I hope it's in future episodes. Though I also hope Raj doesn't form a creepy bond with her like he did with Siri. I mean, she's a dog, so that probably won't happen, right? Or am I underestimating the desperation of this man? Ugh. No Amy in this episode, kind of missed her, but I assume we'll see her next time. Uh, full reactions can be on Patreon in the link in the description below. If you made it this far in the video, thank you for sticking around. It really helps with the channel with the algorithm thingy, algo thingy. Leave a like, really helps with the channel. I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye, friends. Wee. Bye-bye.